Good morning, Mr. Mayor. Let me out of here. Not yet. We have important business to discuss first. I've already given you my answer. We're prepared to offer your people more than enough for their meager settlements. If you think I'm going to give you Sam Hill, you're crazy. We don't want Sam Hill. We want what's under it. You set foot in Sam Hill, you're going to be staring down 2,533 gun barrels. Human who's about to be sawed in half says what? What? Ha! <sighs> Message begins. You sons of bitches, you will give your people a message from us. This is the worst mistake you're ever going to make. Stay out of our way. Oh my god, what monster, robot, or alien is terrorizing this stupid town now? Ah! It's not what you think. It's a training mission for the Sam Hill Fire Department. No After Mama made me give up the monster hunting gig, this was all I could get. When I told you to get a job, that is not what I had in mind. I can't be mad at Mama, though. Into every generation, a monster hunter is born. One boy or girl in all the town, the chosen one, ooh. He or she alone will wield the strength and skill to fight the robots, monsters, and aliens, to stop their evil and the swell of their bosom, ooh, sorry, and blah, 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 and they're all dead. The only thing that set me apart from those poor saps is my brother. Hello, I'm Fruity, brother of Dew, mad genius, inventor, and occasionally a domestic terrorist. And apparently... Dead. You bastards. Where's my agent? I want to speak to someone. More specifically, his amazing technology. Such as his car, the Dewey Bot, <gasps> and this stupid teleport band. Of course, now that his technology is hosed and I can't get half of it to work anymore, what does that leave? Nothing special. Do you hear me? Nothing special. So why don't you get your butt down out of that water tower, come eat your dinner, before I send your daddy up to get you. Uh, maybe Mama was right. Sooner or later I could end up just a monster stool sample. But wait a minute. Maybe that is just horse pucky. I've been fighting killer monsters, robots, and aliens for years, and I did it then without Fruity's technology. I can do it now. I don't need some stupid teleport band. I need a few days to think about it. Hey, Pookie. Hey, baby doll. Me. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I've had the worst damn day. Mama makes me quit the best job I've ever had, and then I fall off a damn water tower. I mean, what else could go wrong today? I think we should see other people. Exactly when were you going to surprise me with this tidbit? Surprise! Why? I don't have an answer for that. It just seems like we've become better friends than lovers. Well, I'll tell you what, being around here ain't so great out here.
Status! We've reached the human dimension, your grave. Good, Foxy Spider Patch. Proceed to target destination and launch the reserve fighters. Let nothing stand in our way. <laughs> my purse? Did I leave my purse at the store? Earl, are you paying attention to me? Yes, baby, I'm listening to you. Mama's gonna be here in 45 minutes, and you're gonna take her to the store. Oh, baby, can't you take her? I have to do all the cooking. We got plenty of groceries. Earl, we are not gonna turn down free food, free booze, and or free cigarettes. Now, you're gonna take that crazy old bitch anywhere she wants to go, you're gonna listen to her stupid boring stories, and you're gonna pretend to like them. You hear me? Well, speak of the devil. Hey, Mama. Me and Earl was just talking about you. Yes, Earl can't wait to take you all over town. Lordy, I'd do anything to get out of this. I thought you told me this teleport thing didn't work. No, it does. <laughs> 